drag is really being yourself. Um, it's really trying to express yourself um, from within. Basically, as, as out of drag, I can't express myself the way as I would in drag because my personal life is something different than my drag life. Um, so drag is what I do and then out of drag is just my life. Becoming a drag queen, king or creature could take hours. Hair, makeup, costumes, it's an art and something that's being taught at the Drag Academy. So the Drag Academy it is a leading institution um, in, in really showing artists, um, you know, various different classes, techniques on how to become a better drag artist. Um, you could be someone who is starting drag um, and really taking these classes to show you the basics um, and really trying to find your true self in the drag world. From becoming a drag star to allyship to drag story time, the Academy offers many courses and services. Today I got a lesson from Sierra Reflection herself on the art of drag and the transformation process. So let's go back to the beginning. Makeup is a very lengthy process. Um, it honestly all depends on what type of drag you do. Myself, I like to make sure that I'm really pretty. Um, but again, there's like drag artists who do like clown makeup. From makeup to hair. I love the hair and the makeup and everything. I can't believe, and the brows. The brows. Yeah. Yes. High five. <laughs> now costume time. Once the whole process is complete, it doesn't end there. You need to find a stage name and then learn how to perform just being yourself authentically, um, you know, having different experiences on and off stage, seeing what you like and don't like. Um, and when people tell me like, oh, um, can you help me do drag? It's like, I can't really help you. I could show you, but I can't help you because everything that you do is within you. To find out more about the Drag Academy, head to dragacademy.ca. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.